Welcome to the Ask the Experts show with local celebrity hosts, Steve-O and Renee. Sit back each week while Steve-O and Renee educate you with live in-studio experts, such as lawyers, doctors, home improvement, and financial experts in their field. Call in and have your questions answered each week at 888-565-1470. Now, here is Steve-O and Renee with today's expert in their field. Good afternoon, and welcome to the <laughs> the Ask the Expert show. Wow, you look gorgeous today, Renee. I mean, you look really good. Thank you. I'm sitting here with my... I dressed up just for the show. <laughs> um, yeah, right. I'm sitting here with my co-host. Like, if you want to just, if you would like to watch today's show, go to www.wwnnradio.com. And on the left side of the page where it says WWTV, WWNNTV, click there. There's so much. <laughs> it's WWNNTV. That's it. Anyway, if you've turned in for the that. first time, our show, we deal with lawyers doctors, financial people, and like today, car dealerships. But not just a car dealership. No. This is the creme de la creme. Now I'm from Texas. Is that okay to say? Yes. Is that, I just want to make sure I pronounced it right. No, you s- pronounce what right? Creme de la creme? Creme de la creme. <laughs> Listen, I just learned how to uh, pronounce ESPN, so <laughs> don't say anything. You know how to spell it? Anyway, I'm, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so excited about today because, you know, we tried our best to get the experts well today and the top in the field exactly today we outdid ourselves we have on the show today the general manager of probably i know it's my two favorite cars yes right jaguar and land rover Treasure Coast. Is it Jaguar? That's what they say on TV. <laughs> Jaguar. I like it when it's pronounced like that. I, know, I love their commercials. Oh, your commercials are uh, wonderful. So let us in- introduce. introduce. Let me help you along, Steve. Yeah, oh. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Larry, it's so good to have you on the phone. Oh, on the phone. Uh, in studio Apple. today. No, the, the phone was last week, Steve. Yeah, that's right. The phone was last week. <laughs> so so if you have a question and you want to call in to ask Larry a question, like... You know, if you want a great leasing price or a good, good deal, deal on exactly. A Jaguar. Call us now at 888-565-1470. That's 888-565-1470. So tell everyone where your dealership is located. Would love to. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover Treasure Coast is up a little bit further north from Palm Beach County in beautiful Fort Pierce. Roughly just 45 minutes from Palm Beach County. So it's uh, it's it's a little ride, but you know what? You can't beat it. You can't beat the area, and you can't beat the service you're going to get at the store. I wow. expected that. Tell us a little bit about the dealership, the background of the dealership. Well, you, you know, Steve, um, it, it's interesting. Uh, the store was uh, purchased in November by the Greco Automotive yes. Group. And uh, the Greco Automotive Group has been in business since uh, 1978 when uh, Mr. Mike Greco Sr., had started in the business. Uh, they've grown in considerable fashion over the last uh, 20, 25 years. You know, we have stores in Rhode Island, but here in, in South Florida, we have the Greco Mazda store, Greco Kia. Soon, Greco is huge. They're huge. Yes. They're in Delray. They're in Delray, and soon we're going to have a brand new point up in uh, North Palm Beach, the new Greco, Greco Mazda, cool. which is going to be a wonderful, it's a, it's a great facility. And then again, we have uh, Greco Nissan, which is right next to my uh, Jaguar Land Rover store. Wow. So, and I didn't say your last name is Tabloff, right? That's right, Steve. So I said Tabloff. You did? <laughs> yes. Wow. I got it wrong. But anyway, I'm so, so <laughs> we've got Close the general enough, right? manager, not, not the service manager, not the general sales manager. We have the general, general sales manager. The big macher. The big macher. You like that? Not macher. It's macher. Okay. I have to teach him. <laughs> now, and I also know that your dealership does a lot of charity work too which we never hear about that you never hear about what goes on behind the scenes you, you know it's interesting in the, in the business we're in everybody thinks that we we take and, and not give exactly um 
from the philosophy of it, it, it starts from the top down from uh, Mr. Greco and, and Mrs. Greco. I mean, when you go and you look at their website or our website uh, in, in MetroMotorGroup.com, we're called the Metro Motor Group, and look at all the different charities we're involved with, from the Toys for Tots, different humane societies, different hospitals, Make a Wish Foundation. That's wonderful. Um, it really is. It, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, when I took over the Jaguar store down in Fort or up in Fort Pierce. Um, one of the things that, that was very important to me is, is the charitable contributions and just the, uh, the outreach we can do from a community standpoint. Um, in October and then November, we have a big group up there called the CASTLE organization. and what Which Cast is what? CASTLE does um, all the, um, they protect children who are abused. Wow. Uh, protect uh, families or console families who are going through divorces and have a hard time where the, the kids are involved and they could be abused. So what, we, what we've done, we've been very involved with that organization. So it's a wonderful nonprofit. Uh, and every year, and this year in particular, we're going to do a phenomenal uh, Christmas party for them. The, well, they'll come in and take over our entire facility, make it a winter wonderland. Wow. And we're going to um, have to promote that. That's you, really, I and you really need to come there. You know, we have silent auctions. You're going to have probably TV. You're going to have lots of things over there. Almost 400 people will be at that store. And it's just a it's a, it's a great event, and it's just for a great great reason as well. Love hearing. It's not all about take; it's about give too. Now yes. you just remodeled your dealership. Did I read that? Absolutely. Um, when the, I'm the, so smart. When the Grecos took it over, <laughs> um, yeah, they they sunk in about another uh, almost million dollars into the store, redid it, uh, refurbished it. Uh, we have a beautiful grand piano in the middle. Where we're playing different songs, different oh, music, nice. and, uh, and matter we'll of fact, have to take it right out and see it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, Renee. You are a trip. You're, you're just, just like Mozart. You can come in and play the piano anytime you oh, like. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Or, or either that, or Barbara Streisand voice that you have. You can come sing anytime you like. Barbara Streisand voice, not the singing voice. Maybe the speaking voice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just that is. Jewish New York accent. That's it. <laughs> so now. How difficult is it to get there, say, from West Palm Beach? Or it's easy access, from what I read. Yeah, that's. So it's very simple. If you want to come on the Turnpike or 95, you just you're going to go straight up north. Uh, on 95, you go up to Midway at Midway Road, and you go west. I'm sorry, you go east, and about five miles, or right there on Midway and US 1. If you're going to come up the Turnpike, you're going to get off at Okeechobee and, and cut across. It's it's a straight shot. We're talking 40 to 45 minutes away, and, and we it's get, worth the trip to go up to you because you can save people money as well. Well, you know what? It's just not about the money, Renee. And we have several, several, not several. We've had many people come from the Palm Beach area, uh, whether it be a new car or pre-owned. They just like the feel. There's no pressure. Right, and we just had this conversation before we went on air. I actually live in Broward, and I drove all the way out to the Lexus dealership in Okeechobee because they treated me so nice. And, I mean, I, I did get a, a little bit better deal, but it was just really about their service there and everything, their, um, I guess, customer service. You, you know, when we're talking about Ask an Expert, I mean, today, ma many times when we talk to the consumers who come in, it's, it's scary. But well, I'm asking them questions. They're the expert many times because they've done so much re research on With the, the internet. Vehicles, yes, absolutely. And, and you know, it's 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 a great thing. I mean, Cy Sim says it best all the time: an educated consumer is our best I customer. Love it. It's the same thing for us. When they come into our store, you can never shy away from those people who know more or ask questions. You can never shy away from even showing the internet or going on the websites that they've been to. There's nothing like. You know, looking at them and saying you're absolutely correct. I mean, why w why would we in this business today in any way say you're not correct? Yeah, if they're not correct, you're going to do it in such a way. But these people, the people that we deal with, it, whether it be a Land Rover, Jaguar uh, customer, or somebody else in Mazda or Kia, if they know you, you don't, you don't want to knock them down. You you have to agree with them because they've done their research. They've educated themselves. They're educated. That's yes. correct. So let's start off talking we'll talk about, about Jaguar. Jaguar. Which I just said to you, is it Jaguar or is it Jaguar? Because I see all the commercials. It says Jaguar. It's ja Jaguar. It's Jaguar. Jaguar. It's Jaguar. <laughs> okay. So let's I've got the Chicago accent, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Chicago people don't even have... I don't, I don't think you have such an accent. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Not like me. So, and I... I your F-Type? Oh. The convertible. Oh, well, Larry said that's the one he drives. Is that, you drive the F-Type? <laughs> yeah, I'm driving an F-Type uh, V8, uh, the R. Uh, it's got four, 400 uh, 
nine, it was a 495 horsepower in the car. It's uh, it's going to go zero to 64.2 seconds. The beautiful thing about the car, just in general, is a, it is a pure Jaguar vehicle. It is nothing that's been crossed over from future owners of Jaguar, which was Ford, uh, BMW, you know, worn by Tata out of India now. So this has been made from the ground up out of aluminum. It's the first, first pure sports car made by Jaguar. I love in that car. I have years. to say, I do love that you know car. You know what's weird about the car? How many times have we been just driving down the road and we went, look at that car. What is that? Now, well, I you, always know what it is. You don't. Okay. So <laughs> they're a beautiful car. It is the most beautiful. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Great story. I just got to go over it with you. So, um, three days ago, I, I'm in the store and in walks this uh, individual, and I hear him go, "Does somebody want to help me? I want to buy a car." And, and everybody jumps. Yeah, well, you know, I, my ears, my ears become Dumbo ears, and I they, they flop and they go out. I want to buy a car. I walk out and I greet this individual, and uh, the individual is a pilot for United Airlines. And it's just a, a small story. My wife's a flight attendant for United Airlines, and lo and behold, they flew together up in Dulles because they're based out of there. Who would have known? Who would? Yeah. You know, they, they just knew each other f by faces. But anyhow, the long and short of it is, the car was for this individual's wife, and he had said, you know, my wife wants has a new Mercedes. Uh, she has a Mercedes that was an SLK. I had gotten in last November, but he likes to buy her a car every eight months to 12 months. Okay, no good idea. Right? I was going to say, are you listening to this? That's correct. Right? Thank yeah, you very I much. Thinking, Thanks, I, I, he, he's married, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, Steve-O. Um, <laughs> so so as, we, as we're talking, um, he said his wife had seen the commercial on the F-Type and, and, and just had to see the vehicle. Came in, drove, and he goes, I'm bringing my wife back in. He brought his, brings his wife back in now. They've been Mercedes-Benz customers for the last 15, 17 years. She sits in the car, and she, it has to be a convertible. It doesn't have to be a hard top, it has to be a convertible. She sits in the car, and she gets out of that car after she drove it. And you would have thought I was looking at an ice cube that was just on a 150 degree street corner, melting. Because she just couldn't say anything. Her mouth, she, loved it she that was much. in awe. Came in yesterday, bought the car. That she I need to go send that car. Couldn't say enough about it. <laughs> so, so I looked at her. I gave her my card, and I said, "Here's what I want you to do, Holly." I said, "When, I just want to know the first time somebody says to you, what is that?" Because the best thing about that vehicle, when you talk about, you know, a, 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 a woman's going to say handsome, we say sexy. I got to tell you something. This is the sexiest car I that say, I have oh, seen. It is the hottest it car. It is the so hottest sleek car. Looking. It's sleek. It really is. The what color did she get? Uh, she got white with Why, you want to ride wheels. with her? No, just <laughs> it's a beautiful dreaming. car. The best thing about it is not only do you have that beautiful rag top, they just came out with the coupe, hard top uh, with so the panoramic So does it have a soft roof. and a hard top? It has, it has both. Which I love. Now, the hard top doesn't go down, it's, but it's got a, a, a pure panoramic roof. Where you open that up, and you're looking up, and you're seeing the sky and the stars driving. It, it is I'm a sold. magnificent Tell vehicle. Us about I the need ride. that car. Wait a second. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 ride, the ride, you know, this is a, it's, it's a pure sports car. This is not a luxury sport. It's a sports car, and it rides like a sports car. You, it's, it's not uh, uncomfortable by any means. But when you're turning, you're going to feel it. And I mean, you feel it, feel the car just hug its turns. When you drive it and you punch it, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to fly. I mean, you have an eight-speed automatic transmission on there, whether you want to do it uh, normal or you want to use your shifters. It is a phenomenal ride. It, it's something that, you know, if people don't have an experience in, and they're into, into the Porsche world of the Boxers or 911s or they're into the I've Z4s. I've never been into the Porsche. You know, well, there are those that are no, there. No, I know. But, but I like the four-seater, the new four-seater. Now, are these 2015? I've got 14s and 15s, okay. both. The 15s are just coming through right now. Does, does it change much from 2014 to 2015? No, no okay. it's, it's, it's the same vehicle. Because I thought the 2014 was unbelievable. Well, it's Gorgeous car. Just came out. It's yeah. A, yeah, like I said, it's the first pure sports car that Jaguar has come out with in 40 years. And this car is is everything and that, and the technology with the aluminum body, the lightweight engine, the good fuel economy is, is is for for you know for a vehicle that's 495 pounds, uh, 495 horsepower, and 460 pounds of torque, uh, it does pretty well. So, do you feel like your the buyers that come in are looking for the luxury model versus the sports model? You, you know, it's you get a little bit of both. Um, 
those who come in and are looking for the sports model, I mean, that's it. The, and, and those who are coming in for the, the luxury, the sedans, you're going to have your X. They want the four door. You want your four door. Yes. Now, what's the XK Coupe? Well, the XK Coupe is, um, this will be the last year it's being made. Okay. Um, it is a classic. I will just tell you, it's a shame it's going to go away. I'll be curious to see what they, what, if the F-Type is going to stay as a replacement or what they do with the XK. The XK has been a, a stalwart for Jaguar for, for years. Yes. Um, that's a car, you know, when you look at it, it's, it's getting nostalgic. I think that's the best word to use for it, uh, where the F-Type is more of that aggressive uh, styling. I think what, you, what you're seeing is that Jag trying to, you know, go to a different de a demographic, a little mm -hmm. bit different than where the XK has always been uh, a little bit more on the um, the, ol the older side. You know what else about the Jaguar is, I've never, there's other luxury models, I've never gone, wow, what was that? Wow, that's that's hot. The Jaguar is the Me only too. car. Is I mean, you know, we're, that's the only car. Go, wow, what is that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just it's just hot, man. It's what I, that's all the way I could say it. See, what I always tell people when they come in, I challenge them very simply. If you are a Mercedes owner, or a BMW owner, even a Lexus owner, um, Infiniti, whatever high line drive a Jaguar. Forget about the Listen, past. Listen, I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 one, one, one has got to forget about the past. You know, people say, well, I remember back in the 80s or the 90s or the this, you know. Granted, when you look at today's J.D. Power surveys, J.D. Power in terms of their, uh, the studies of the quality, the two brands that have leaped the largest are Jaguar and Land Rover, okay? That's a big. It's a difference. It's I night, know, and, night you, and day. The funny thing is, you see all the celebrities driving in Land Rovers. Well, Land Rovers are a whole different animal. I know. I I'm, I understand that. But I'm just saying, every celebrity is driving in Land Rovers. Now, is there an SUV Jaguar? Um, we will be seeing like a, a crossover. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, there's going to be a crossover coming out. Uh, we'll probably see it in 18 months or so. And that again is going to be exclusive to Jaguar. Nothing will be shared from the Jaguar platform. Or a Land Rover plat platform. It's going to be strictly a Jaguar product, which I think is smart. They want to create that identity uh, onto its own. Versus a lot of the other manufacturers, what they'll do, they'll share that that platform here or those parts there and rebadge it. This will be strictly a uh, ground up new SUV. Wow. Let's go. Let's take a break. Our first break, and okay. when we come back, let's talk about Land Rover. Love to. And Range Rover. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Six month leases, eighty nine ninety five. Do it signing, zero security deposit, plus tax, tag, title, fees, and first month's payment. With approved credit, expires month end. Want the best in luxury? Get it all at Jaguar Treasure Coast. Visit the all new Jaguar Treasure Coast and let us exceed your expectations. Just a short drive from Palm Beach, and you'll find amazing selection, service, and surprising savings. Brand new Jaguars from five ninety nine a month, compared to the average cost of a luxury Acura, BMW, Lexus, or Mercedes. Jaguars will exceed. Exceed your expectations. Lease a 2014 Jaguar XJ, $7.99 a month, or drive the sensational 2014 F Type convertible, only $5.99 a month. Drive the best from Jaguar Treasure Coast and experience extraordinary luxury and service for less. Easy to get to from Palm Beach. Visit us in beautiful Fort Pierce or online at tcjaguar.com. That's tcjaguar.com. I'm Mike Greco from Jaguar Treasure Coast. Will exceed your expectations? I guarantee it. Hi, I'm Steve-O with the Ask the Experts radio show. Join my co-host Renee and I every Friday as we interview some of the most prominent professionals in Palm Beach and Broward County. Each week we combine educational information on a variety of topics with a touch of humor and entertainment in the areas of legal, health, financial, and home improvement so you can be more informed. We offer interviews on such topics as family law, foreclosure defense, estate planning, sleep apnea, roof repair, funeral pre-needs, mold and mildew, alcoholism addiction, and even a show that teaches you how to buy a new and used car from one of the top dealerships in South Florida. If you have a business and would like to be part of the Ask the Expert show, contact us at 954-336-3767. Position your company as an expert in your field. Call Ask the Experts radio show at 954 
336-3767. Be sure to catch our show every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. or watch our show live at WWNNRadio.com and click on the WWNN TV link. And we're back. So, Larry, most people know J.D. Power and Associates as one of the highest awards a car manufacturer can be awarded. So, Jack, what was named highest in sales satisfaction among luxury dealerships in 2013, which is very impressive. Think about that. Think about where, again, like I said, we've come from, you know, um, in, 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 this, in a time when Jack had some issues. The sales satisfaction, when people are happy with the vehicle and are satisfied with the vehicle, what does that do for you? It, it's not what I say. It's what you, Renee, or Steve O are going to say about Definitely, the vehicles. Definitely, yeah. And you know what? I got to tell you something because I've, I've looked at Jags all my life for a long—I really mean a long, long time ago. The only thing this—I mean, I'm talking maybe 30, 40 years ago. The only thing that was negative was it cost a lot to service them. That was it. Never was about the body style, the performance, none of that. It was always about, to me, it was just about the service. Well, that that's why you have to get bumper ago. the bumper coverage. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you, you don't have to have think that. along it, those it's lines. It's been like that for a long time. Right. I mean, Jaguar just really turned it around, but they still have that beautiful hot car out there. And so anyone, because we have a little bit older audience, yes. those were in the olden days. It doesn't work like that anymore, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, the vehicles today, I mean, you're, you're working on synthetic oil. Your car doesn't have to be in service for, every, it's for six to nine months, up to 10,000, 12,000 miles. It's not like the old days, what was 3,750 or 5,000 miles. So, I mean, you can go a ways. The only thing I would recommend, because you're in Florida, I mean, always from a standpoint of tires, if you're going to come in, you should always come in every 5,000 miles because your tires have zero. You look at our tires. notes, I No, know, because you know? the tires deflate yeah. in the, the heat. Is, the that, tires, is that correct? What you have is when, when you have these vehicles that you're driving, you have, they're putting a high-performance tire on them. It's a soft rubber, and a soft rubber that combined with heat, Okay, Deep that can be uh, not only that, but the roadways that are in Florida are made with m many more with crushed shell versus when we're up in New York or Chicago, you have asphalt. This has crushed right, but we have potholes shell. in New York. Well, the pot <laughs> There's, <laughs> There's no potholes here. They have no potholes, <laughs> but they have the shell and uh, in the heat. I mean, those tires you have to rotate to get the maximum wear out of them. Gotcha. Okay, so now, and we're going to be going in. We're going to be talking about service. We're going to be talking about financing. But let's talk about Land Rover. First of all, I got it. What is the difference between Land Rover and, and Range, Range Rover? Rover? Yeah. You know, when when you look at it, uh, you, the the Land Rover that that we have today, you know, we have an LR4 and an LR2. That's that was tr tr traditional line, and then they came out with the Range Rover. They split it up, and that was we brought the Evoque and the Range Rover Sport, the one that you like so much, Renee. That beautiful high profile. How do you know car. which one I like? <laughs> I know what you like, Renee. I can see it right now. The higher end the one. The higher end one. <laughs> we um, talked last night. <laughs> and they yeah, the higher end. Yeah. They they've divided them up both both up, but um, you know. It's they're, they're essentially the same. It's a, it's the same manufacturer, just two different uh, brands that they they Once put more them. money. That's correct. Well, your your Range Rover are, is is are your big vehicles. It's going to be your sport and your full size. Uh, your Land Rover is going to be what we call the LR4 and the LR2, and um, the both all the vehicles themselves are have all the the necessary equipment that of whatever you'd like i mean the lr2 and the lr4 the lr2 is your entry level and it's a beautiful vehicle well equipped you know that most people will, will drive around here it's somebody who's going to look at a jeep uh, a, a, a jeep cherokee you know with a, s a certain vehicle within the gmc line or ford line uh that that's what what it's meant to do it, it's it's but it's higher line with the leather the moonroof um all the equipment on it, it it's it's well, a phenomenal car Mazda or Kia before, right? No, Which one? I, I, I was with the Mazda okay, store. Let me ask you: Do you pinch yourself in the morning when you wake up and go to work? Like, I'm the general manager. Of no, he just gets into his Jaguar every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, not, never to say anything bad about Mazda since like no, I, no, 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 I like a great line, since, yes. since I like uh, like I told you, we do own a Mazda store and soon to be another one Mazda store, and you know they they've got great product themselves in the Mazda three, the Mazda sixes, then CX fives. It was it was a, it was a great great product line, but you know you're not going to compare a, a Mazda to a Jaguar no or a Land Rover. I'm it's, getting a job with Larry because <laughs> well, then I get a free car. <laughs> yeah, you 
the water, you get a demo. Exactly. You, you know, but you go back about the service aspect and the things. Uh, again, when you talk about why do people come to our store, uh, one of the things that, that we preach is, um, as Mike says, you know, we want to exceed your expectations and, and that's the most important thing that the Grecos have installed in, in in or instilled excuse me in all the stores and uh, it, it's taken very seriously the way we're looking at things especially where we're located up in in Fort Pearson people say Fort Pearson it seems like it's so far away it's not. it's not so what we say to people is simply this you know people in the Vero Beach market to quest at Palm Beach Gardens you know if if you can't come to us We'll come to you, and that is, that is a promise. Where if you need your car serviced, we'll come. We'll you come and pick up the car. We'll come and pick up the car and drop a car. They off. come and pick up the car. If you like, if you if you, if you How like, if I need a car wash. If you like, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll send you my credit card. Um, <laughs> if, if you'd even like to demo the car, if you can't make it up to us, one of my salesmen will come to you. I and, love and, that. I mean, one of the things that you need to understand, and the people need to understand, we understand time. Is it a premium? You know, but for you to get the full effect, though, we really do want you to come to the store. But, you know, the, in essence, that when they call and they say, hey, this is what I like, that's not a problem for us. Give everybody your address. Our address, well, first of all, our website, which is really what people always go to, is, yes. is www.tcjaguar.com or www.tclandrover.com. We're located at 4771 South U.S. Highway in Fort Pierce. And if you need to reach me or, or call the store, simply dial 772-493-0300. Um, you can ask for me or you can ask for my extension at 1505. It's not a problem. I'd be glad to help you in any which way. You know, so I they could go to the website and see all the different types of cars. Exactly. And and anything that's available. Yeah, not only do we have the new, but I think one of the one well. of the things that yeah, I think one of the things that people always need to remember is that the pre -owned, the pre owned vehicle, especially the certified Jaguar, the certified uh, Land Rover and Range Rover, a hundred and fifty point inspection, a six year hundred thousand mile warranty from date of first use. But what's nice about it, if somebody does trade in a certified car, that warranty does follow the next owner. So well, you don't that's have wonderful. to wonderful. That really is. That's correct. Um, know, we have a lot of people who tune in, they don't start off with us at exactly four o'clock and I've I've got to repeat this because it just it's mind boggling what Land Rover has done. I mean, not that I watch these kind of shows, but Renee watches these. Which uh, ones? You know, the housewife shows. Yeah, I mean, that's Renee watches. <laughs> Larry, those. he watches those too. Yeah, I don't. I, some, I'm always busy working. I might look <laughs> up a little bit, but it seems like so many celebrities, not just celebrities, sports figures. It doesn't matter how much they they can. Right, I was just they saying can make that. twenty million dollars a year. Land Rovers. They can have anything they want, and you see them driving a Land Rover. Well, Steve, how did you guys pull that off? It's you know, it, it's not how we pulled it off. It's obviously the vehicle of choice because of of the reliability of the vehicle, the look of the vehicle, um, just the st I gotta it's say, a it, it's, it's a status. Also. But the, that vehicle stands out by itself. When you see a Land Rover or a Range Rover coming down the road, especially the new one, even the, even the older ones. I mean, you look at it and it's like wow. Until you sat in one of those vehicles as well and driven it and really understand how they ride and and the amenities in those vehicles you, you just couldn't I saw you, the Kardashians you, 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 five of them there's five Land, Ro uh, Land Rovers out there in front of the house I mean five that's right. just amazing. I mean and again these people could have any kind of luxury car they want so that want. speaks volumes. Yeah. I, yeah. I think the other thing that that people should understand is a couple things if they would like a Range Rover or a Land Rover, but we'll talk of the Range Rover, which is the sports and the full size. Um, they can customize them however they want. They can come to the so store. Full bar and the, I, <laughs> I may need one. Well, you know, you know, it's funny you mentioned that, Renee. I, I have a vehicle right now on my lot that was ordered very, very customized. The the, the reason why what happened was the customer. It came in. It's a uh, full-size extended version. When it's extended, it's extended another five inches. It's huge. He's got the DVDs. It, it's 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 a man cave, literally. Okay. The problem was the back seats didn't come as, as captain's chairs. You wanted the captain's chairs. So we so we, the whole vehicle cool uh, the, in the back. Oh, it's phenomenal. Oh, wow. with the w white with red leather, and it is it is wow. phenomenal. Yeah. Okay. So this customer said, you know what? 
I, I, I have to, I, I can't take this one. I need I need it with the captain's chair. So we ordered two more, not one but two. Okay, and this other vehicle we just we just sold, but it's it's the type of thing that you could put a bar in with the DVD with the captain's chair. I was joking. No, you you can be joking all you want. You can you can do it all. I mean, it's it is it. It's 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 the bomb. When you it's want a fuel efficiency car too. Yeah, well, you've got an aluminum body again, okay. the engine, and they've created an increase of roughly you know ten to fifteen percent in the fuel economy. In that particular vehicle, you got a V8. It's a little bit bigger engine, but they've come out the V6 as well now. Well, I just it was it always blows my mind every time I'm watching some show. I even noticed that LeBron, they were he was, oh, he was driving, driving away one. from somewhere, and he's in a Land Rover, smart Range guy. Rover, yeah. So smart guy. It's just. It's just amazing. Let's again. Let's give them your website again. It's www.tctomcharliejaguar.com or www.tctomcharlielandrover.com. Can we? Can we get you a stay over? I'm, I'm, I'm are you asking for? Oh, wait a second. Are you asking on. for a sleepover? No, <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous on this one right now. I know. Listen, it's one thing if I ask you, but another thing if Stephen well, asks. Normally you. we would go until we would go to four thirty, but I just I, I've got so many more questions. He's such a great speaker, and I'm like, this is my kind of car. So, will you mind staying over? I'm um, I'm all in, Steve. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So let's go to break, and we will be right back okay. with Larry, the general manager. 36 month leases, 8995 due at signing, zero security deposit, plus tax, tag, title fees, and first month's payment. With approved credit, expires month end. Want the best in luxury? Get it all at Jaguar Treasure Coast. Visit the all new Jaguar Treasure Coast and let us exceed your expectations. Just a short drive from Palm Beach, and you'll find amazing selection, service, and surprising savings. Brand new Jaguars from $599 a month compared to the average cost of a luxury Acura, BMW, Lexus, or Mercedes. Jaguars will exceed exceed your expectations. Lease a 2014 Jaguar XJ, $7.99 a month, or drive the sensational 2014 F-Type convertible, only $5.99 a month. Drive the best from Jaguar Treasure Coast and experience extraordinary luxury and service for less. Easy to get to from Palm Beach. Visit us in beautiful Fort Pierce or online at tcjaguar.com. That's tcjaguar.com. I'm Mike Greco from Jaguar Treasure Coast. Will exceed your expectations? I guarantee it. Hi, I'm Steve-O with the Ask the Experts radio show. Join my co-host Renee and I every Friday as we interview some of the most prominent professionals in Palm Beach and Broward County. Each week we combine educational information on a variety of topics with a touch of humor and entertainment in the areas of legal, health, financial, and home improvement so you can be more informed. We offer interviews on such topics as family law, foreclosure defense, estate planning, sleep apnea, roof repair, funeral pre-needs, mold and mildew, alcoholism addiction, and even a show that teaches you how to buy a new and used car from one of the top dealerships in South Florida. If you have a business and would like to be part of the Ask the Expert show, contact us at 954-336-3767. Position your company as an expert in your field. Call Ask the Experts radio show at 954-336-3767. 3767. Be sure to catch our show every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. or watch our show live at WWNNRadio.com and click on the WWNN TV link. And we're back. So let's talk about the dealership. So once you come into the dealership and you're looking at a car, what's the process? that goes on once you walk in those doors. I'd like to talk about the dealership first because I think it's really important. Yes. You know, it's in life and anything you do, it's first impression. Whether I see you and whether Steve-O sees me or whatever, you know, when I got married, I think my wife's first impression was she thought I was good looking, but who the heck knows? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure it out after 20, all I 26 know is, years of marriage. Listen, all I noticed about him was his shoes. I said, <laughs> okay, he's got nice shoes. <laughs> okay, well, listen, you're in trouble. Boy. I got to tell you something. That's all you found. <laughs> okay. So you better be talking about Rovers and something yeah. else. You better, okay. I'll talk about Jaguars. Thank you. Rare. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when, when you come into the store, you know, you get a feel of warmth. Um, you walk in, you have a beautiful, way, a, a beautiful uh, entrance. 
uh, you walk in and you got a beautiful grand piano that we put in the store that's self-playing. We have different music playing all the time from Elton John to Billy Joe to classical. And once the holiday season, we have the holiday music going throughout and it's piped up. So uh, once you go in, you never want to leave. You don't want to leave. I have more people that say, wow, can I, they actually, like I said, they want to sit and play the piano, which is fine. You know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And <laughs> when you have kids, and it's amazing, when when you have children that come in that can play the piano, you let them play, it's, it's kind of like having your own symphony and concert hall over there so it's it's a lot of fun um as far as when you the waiting area and the amenities i mean i have a full stocked refrigerator full of uh sodas um lacroix water lacroix flavored water i have a lot of healthy different drinks i'm not a big um sugar guy i have healthy uh fruit for for anybody who would want to cappuccino freshly made fresh made coffee you know things of that nature which which people want you know uh, it's a, but it's you have a, to go there if you want a car not just hang out uh, play the piano and eat well you know <laughs> you, you know I, I think of sometimes a dunkin donut because the fort pierce police do come in and hang out because they do like they, the, they like the coffee so i'm starting to think to myself, and donuts, maybe, you get donuts i don't have the donuts i have the fruit i have the, bana- I have the bananas <laughs> apples and pears so maybe i should start calling myself a, something something else so and there's still people old school that they're scared to come into a deal I'm going to be attacked. They're going to try to pull something on me. So people, the people is important, not just the cars and the prices the and everything. Yes. The salespeople that we have um, are professionals. Uh, we have people that have been bank vice presidents that have changed careers. They've decided to do things that I uh, have people that uh, have had their own businesses, been an owner dealership before. Um, been in Denmark. Where, where, uh, I have a gentleman that was from the U.S., but he was a human resource manager for Legos in Denmark. He just came back oh, to the wow. U.S. You know, uh, and he he speaks different languages. You know, we we try to filter it with a, a, a different feel. You know, I, I want professional people because the people that come to our store are professionals or retired yes. professionals. Now that being said. You know, it's just not about Highline, and I want to talk about this a little bit because I think what people need to understand, people who are looking for cars, whether it be a a Jaguar or Land Rover, let's not forget when we do take a trade-in from these customers, those, those cars... Whether it be a Jaguar or a Toyota, or it could be a Nissan, which I've taken, in, or a Subaru, those cars are immaculate. I mean it. The people that come in and trade these vehicles take care of them. So people who are looking for used cars should not be afraid of going to a Highline dealer to look for that ten to $15,000 car. I think right. intimidation factors do play in the fact that people will not walk into these stores because they're thinking, oh, I can't afford it. That's not the case at all. Right, so you do pre-owned as well. We do a, a ton of pre-owned out of, that, out of the stores, whether it be a certified, as we talked about earlier, or non-certified. We, just like any other dealer, whether it be a, a Kia or Mazda or a Toyota or Honda, we have the banks that they have. We have the ability to finance like they have. But more importantly, the cars that we're taking in sometimes are a little bit nicer or can be than what the other dealers are doing. And I think it should be stated also that a lot of the cars that we do take in up from the Palm Beach area, northern Palm Beach and further north, they're not going through the city driving that a lot of cars that may be down south go through. So they don't go through the wear and tear. The wear and tear the same way. That the, and that's a fact. Mm-hmm. Tell us about some of the, the work that goes into making these cars certified. Well, I mean, it, it, it goes without saying. It can cost, especially in the Land Rover Jaguar, I mean, the, the certification is stringent. Um, 150 point inspection. The tires got to be certain uh, depth. Um, just about every certified car I do, I put new tires on anyhow. I, I don't want to have an issue. Wow. You know, um, you cannot have frame Those tires aren't cheap either. They're, they're not cheap. You know. I think the other thing you need to understand is that, you know, in the world we live in, you know, people go online today and they see Carfax or they see an auto check. And a car, Carfax can show that it had an accident. And I think I, I, I want to I rest, uh, rest assured some people that are buying cars today. Um, do you disclose that? Oh, you have to. Uh, absolutely and people are disclosed they have to sign every page of a carfax or an auto check but what i wanted to tell people out there people that are listening um if a car if a car gets just a single dented or a little ding at, at a um, uh, shopping center or if you're, you're you're stopped at a stoplight and somebody just t- nudges you and the police come and they write a report up 
That is constituted as an accident. Yes, it is. And what happens? And it's documented. It's documented. I mean, people need to understand not to be afraid of a car that's got a little fender bender. What they need to understand is if a car has frame damage, that's something they need to know. It needs to be disclosed. If a car's got frame damage, that's the actual damage to the frame of the right. car, that's a car we cannot certify, nor will I certify. If it's a frame damage at our store, it's going to go away. I don't want it on our lot. There are those out there that sell lots of cars that are frame damaged cars. Doesn't mean you can't sell it because it's not been... But your dealership uh, We will not. Well, wow, that's, that's, that gives you a comfort feeling. Yes. We will not. Tell Te us, I was going to say, tell us about some of the pre-owned cars that are on your lot now. Well, we have... Uh, you see them every day. I see them every day. We and have, they leave <laughs> pretty we, often, too. You, you know, if people are looking for really nice Jaguars, we have some beautiful 2010s, 11s, and 12 on the XFs. And the XF is our uh, four-door. Um, that, that's really our bread and butter in terms of the Jaguar line. Okay, that's been the, the mainstay for the last several years. Uh, the 2011s I have on my lot, just so you know, still in, in 2011, Jaguar provided maintenance for the ter term of the four-year 50,000 miles. That was the only year they ever provided maintenance for that car or those cars. And my 2011s that I have on my a lot right now still have maintenance left on wow. them, so, you know, that would be that's included. Great. We have some beautiful Rovers. I've got some beautiful Range Rover uh, Sports 2011s. Beautiful 2008 full size that was owned by one of our do one of the customers just traded in for another one it was a doctor from Vero Beach. Um, beautiful Audi. If anybody's looking for a beautiful Audi A4, had a customer come in, had to have an XK coupe. That's a cool car too. Had to have the XK coupe and traded in a brand new Audi A4. What can I say? Um, it's it's crazy. You get some of these cars that come in and you're like. Okay. What I like about Larry, he doesn't have like, oh yeah, this was there was a little old lady who parked in her garage for <laughs> seven years, never drove it. I mean, you know, it's almost like I just, I would feel as a buyer, I would feel, feel comfortable, comfortable yes. going to your dealership. Well, I appreciate it. You know, I didn't come from the the retail background, and you know, I bought cars just like you did. Um, I had spent many years on a factory side with Toyota and Lexus, and I hope people out there don't hold that against me. <laughs> um, but, you know, and then uh, in different areas uh, in the business. And, you know, I, I think of it simply this. I instill in my guys very simply. I want my people that come into my store to be treated like they'd expect to be treated. People forget we are only people and we are people. That we, we have to respect one another and treat everybody with respect. And the car Is sells itself. Real? But wait real? a second, I just <laughs> want to say something. The car sells itself. The car so you don't have to go in and give like the whole spiel about the car because it really does. You're right, Renee, but at the same time, it, it, you know, don't take this wrong. You could have a pretty face. But if you just don't have, I'm not taking that wrong. You, 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 could have, you could have the pretty face, and you know it looks great. But if you're not treated very well, I gotta tell you, I something. agree with I'm that. I'm gonna turn around and walk away. Or the same thing. I it, totally it, it's and how many people are you gonna tell that story to, too? That's correct. You you have to. I mean, and that's the difference that we hear time and time again from our store versus a lot of stores. Not to say that people are doing anything wrong or belligerently wrong. It's no, but just sometimes you go into a, a dealership; they're very pushy. I mean, that's why the um, term car salesman, like if somebody's really pushy, they call them a car salesman. But when you go into your dealership, you said that they, they don't push the fact. Can't push the fact. I won't let them push the fact. I mean, yes, do Which we want... Which is very nice. Do we want to sell the car? Absolutely. Of course you do. And you know what? You're right. You talk about the Jag, you talk about the Range Rover, the Land Rover. Yes, they're sexy. They're appealing. But you know what? If, if it's... Y you still got to treat people with that no, respect. Yeah, I agree. Tell everybody your store hours. Store hours. Well, we're open uh, Monday through Friday from 8.30 till 7.30. Saturday from 8.30 till 6. And Sunday noon to 5. Seven Sundays. days. Wow. Yes. And now what about the service department? Service is open at uh, 7 o'clock until 6 on Monday through Friday. And we're open Saturday from uh, 8.30 until uh, whenever we have to shut down. Usually... It's usually going to be about 2 o'clock, which is kind of interesting. In the other world that I came from in the businesses, Saturday is usually the busiest day yeah, on service. Right. Not there. I mean, really? It, yeah, i, I got to say this, okay? It, the people that really want to have one-on-one -on -one experience, the reason our store is so great is we don't have um, the influx of people are during the day. You know, when you come from 3 to 5 or 3 to 6 or 3 to 7, 
it's quieter. I mean, it's just a di it's a it's a different feel. It's a wonderful feel, and it's just such a it's a person. The word is personalization. People feel that way. I can tell just by that's talking why you have to go to his dealership if you want a Jaguar or a Land Rover. Exactly. Tell um, let's talk about your VIP service. Our VIP service is that very important one. That is. To me, I mean, if I'm going to spend this kind of money on a vehicle, I want to be treated. You know, I want to. I walk. But they in. treat. It seems like they treat everybody like that. And that, that's just the way it is. But I think we talked about it a little bit earlier. I mean, my, my Michael Greco says simply this. You know, he guarantees to exceed, exceed the expectation, and that that's his philosophy. And I got to say this, he instills it in in everybody that that works for him. And if you're not going to exceed the expectation of the consumer, and by the way, we're not perfect or utopia in any way, but the point is, you better you better try awfully darn hard, okay, and go forward. But when somebody comes in, and like I said, if you can't come to me, I'm going to come to you. If you if you buy a car from me and you need service, we'll pick the car up and bring bring the car back. If you're going to come in and say, hey, Lair, I need to go somewhere, we'll have a shuttle driver take you. If you need a car, I'll Load give you my cars. demo. It doesn't make a difference. It has to be first and foremost that you, the consumer, you, the customer, are the priority and taken care of. Bottom line. What constitutes who gets a loaner car when you're coming in for service? Is it your car's going to be gone all day? How do you decide who gets a loaner car? Re really, it's it's normally if the car is going to be in and there's major repair work that's going to be done oh, for 24 hours, you get a car. Um, most of the people there are that come in, you know, they'll wait because they're going to have just a Someone routine maintenance down. But if a, if a car, you know, has been towed in and they have a normally extended service plan of some sort, body insur work, I'm sure insurance, body work you know, well. yeah, when those things happen, out, you know, it's not just me. It's also your your, your insurance company or extended service plan will have have a rental built into it. But if you're going to have a car that's going to be overnight, it's going to have major repair, we'll get your car. You know, we talked about tires. We have, I'm sure, we have a because of our demos, we have a lot of people who probably own luxury cars. Give them a few hints as to maintenance-wise what you need. I mean, you said before about bringing a car in every 5,000 miles. Every, Same thing with oil change. About 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles. Well, I'll just simply say this. You know, we talk about the fuel economy, and people say, well, you know, my car doesn't get fuel, good fuel economy. The, the number one thing that they have to do is make sure the tires are always at, at the proper pressure that levels. It. That's correct. They don't think about it. They need to make sure those tires have good tread on them. That they're being you know rotated on an a, on a on a on a basis. I put every five thousand miles is what I do. Okay. Um, you know, and the minute you start putting that tread line, you know, every tire has tread lines in them now that you're going to know when your tires are no good. You got better replace those. I mean, that, that can affect you a good three four miles a gallon uh, in a car. And people, I can't tell how many people complain. And it's. I hate to say it, it's it's simple reading. It's simple, just common sense out there, and, uh, and it's not to to be. Do people read negative. the manuals? At I, all? I think that's the biggest problem. If people would just read what the manual is. It's what it says. You, we'd be in pretty good shape. You'd be in pretty good shape. Wow. And the same thing with oil changes. I mean, that's the way you take care of your cars to keep bringing in for oil changes. Well, your oil cha oil changes and tire rotations. If you do general maintenance, if you just right. do your general maintenance. You know your car is going to be. You're eliminating a lot of problems. You sure are. It's just it's like when you run and you, you do certain things. as human beings. Will you eliminate some of that? How often would you bring your car in to be serviced? Me, I, I'm I'm a, I'm an every five thousand mile guy. Always, okay. I always have been. That's just that's just me. I go when the lights come on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why we, we know when Renee brings a car and trades in. You know, we we look at you know fair value. Okay, value, and it's Renee value. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some bird stuff on my car. <laughs> no, on my car, it actually says when it's due for service. Yeah, it will, it will tell you. Right. Yeah. So I like that. So Definitely. when the light comes on, it goes for service or an oil change. And you do the, the actual the car washes. They buy. Yes. They can bring it in any time. Yes. Have the car washed. Yes. See, there's so many great perks. But then you go the line so long, though. <laughs> <laughs> ours are I've done that. Ours are, it's all hand car wash. You come in, the guy's hand car wash it for you. Wow, that's 
That's nice. So let's tell everybody again where you're located at because people are turning their car and their radio on in their car every five minutes. Let's and they want to go there tomorrow. God, I'm, <laughs> this is like wanting just to go eat at a great restaurant. It's like I want to go get a Jaguar or a Land Rover or a Range Rover. That's a good idea. Maybe, maybe the next thing to do is we put a, a gourmet restaurant in there. What do you think? Oh, I bet. I would love that. We got that car, the one out on your lot well, right now. I, I, start, I start thinking about that. We were just up in Providence and some of our stores up there, they do. The Greco's that put restaurants and bars and everything in there. It's it's an, an interesting concept. It's a beautiful. I gotta yeah. tell you something. One thing about the Greco's, um, and hopefully more and more people will get to know them as they start to expand further and further in Florida because they will. Um, as I said, they're very giving to the community. But more importantly, they think about you know when people are at the store, what what do they want to have? What should they have? Obviously, we have free Wi-Fi, you, you know, in the store as well. You you gotta have these things, and they want to give you more. Than less. A lot of a lot of stores today have done less than more. I think a wine bar would be. Uh, nice. Oh well, you know what? <laughs> a bistro. You know we're gonna have. Yes. We'll put a bistro in there. Hey, I like their insurance company too. <laughs> you know? Oh no, that's Geico. <laughs> that's Geico. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we do not have a gecko. <laughs> We're at uh, www.tcjaguar.com or www.tclandrover.com. And uh, the location of our store is at 4771 South U.S. Highway, uh, Fort Pierce, Florida. And our phone number is 772-493-0400. And you can reach me at directly at extension I'll 1505. And I'll, I'll, by the way, I will return your call. Not a problem. Um, and a matter of fact, if you all want to come down and visit, uh, I have no problem if you heard us at the show and you really are interested in a car and you drive from Palm Beach and for some reason I can't make the deal, yeah, you're going to spend a few dollars in gas, so why don't I just fill your car back up with gas and say, hey, wow. have that. a good time, People wash your car. That. You know, I'd be glad to do it, just say you, you heard it on, on the show here. I think, you know, there's little things you can do as well. I mean, why not? We're going we're gonna to ask you to come and, and visit our store, see our store. Um, I feel confident we can always do a deal for you. I'm calling my See, friends up in Dallas. Gonna, if they well, drive yes. over there, he's going to pay for the gas. I think that's a wonderful idea. Well, 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 as long as it's <laughs> car, car fuel, not jet fuel, I'm okay. So let me just ask you, any specials going on right now? You know, we've got a couple things. When you look at it, we've got the F-Type right now, uh, a special lease at five ninety nine a month, uh, 36 month, 5,000 miles. Uh, have some XJLs. Uh, we didn't talk much about the XJL. That's our big sedan uh, with a, uh, a three-liter uh, engine. The, the car is like a limousine. I got to tell you, it's, it's it's just incredible. You're looking at that car at seven ninety nine a month for thirty six months. That th that's an eighty two thousand dollar car. And what I will say again with this is, I challenge the people that are driving these other sedans to sit in a Jaguar just to look at the craftsmanship of the vehicle the leather it's not I know, they're so it's not inside. they let's, really are. let's go back it's not leatherette and i'm going to repeat this a lot of people are driving cars out there that, it, that it's leather it's not leather leatherette a lot of what is the difference it's in synthetic leather versus real leather wow interesting who would know that well let me tell you lot, lots of the manufacturers out there are now have gone to leatherette um we've got the real nice uh range rover evoke beautiful small crossover uh, right now on sale at four seventy nine a month. That's uh, a great least. price. Oh yeah, it's a great price, and the wow. vehicle is beautiful. It's very different uh, than most of your crossover vehicles. It's the look is again aggressive, but a sexy aggressive. So I listen. I want those wise out there. Said, listen. I listened to Larry Tabloff from the general manager. Now they'll never tune in again. Yeah, <laughs> the husbands shut the radio. Well, he's <laughs> promising. My Jaguar. And, and he's just. I want a Jaguar now, but we just bought a car. I don't care. I want. That's a Jaguar. why I'm saying. <laughs> the turn I, I, always, I always say this, Renee and, and Steve. -O, when people come in, you know, I can't. I, you got to take the tuckus in the seat. <laughs> Your hands got to get on the wheel. I don't care what I sell the car for, and you shouldn't care. If you don't love the vehicle, if it doesn't feel right for you, you know what? Then it's not for you. It's a very, this is not brain science. We are a very simple, simple business model. Unfortunately, we made it very complex. It's a kiss, keep it simple, stupid. And that's how I look at this. That's how my guys look at it. It's how the store looks at it. Anywhere I've been, that's how you have to think about this. You like it, you love it. If you don't love it, we got nothing. I would think sell. most people that sat in that car would want to drive out in one. Oh, in exactly. One of them. 
And if I was a salesman, I'd go, all I got to do is get him to turn the... Just sit down <laughs> in the car. And then That's just it. take it out for a spin, and then I'm just going to sit back. You don't sound like a car salesman, Larry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're so laid back, and you're just so... Pow your message is powerful, but it's not like... Your normal car salesman. Well, I, I, I'm not the normal car guy that gets up there and can dress in different characters, okay, and, and do funny things and say, I got X amount of dollars off. I'm not going to do that. No, because he's just knowledgeable, and the car speaks, the car for, speaks itself. for itself. The car speaks for itself, and you have to be yourself. And, you know, the gimmicks, I think, today that people have seen or are seeing, I, I think it's worn, it's worn out. And I think... I get so turned off by pushy salesmen. Right. I really do. And I do too, and you know that's why we do the events and the different things and that we want to do from a community aspect. Wow, well, and you know what? Uh, and you're you've got you do events for Christmas and you've got all kind of things that you don't even have to do. That you it's just like I love how they go the extra mile. Can, can I tell you? Um, it's really funny, uh, and I know we're, we're running a little thin on that time, but it, it's it's worth just telling you. I mean, I, I've been dog and cat lover my whole life. I believe in. You know, as actually, that's they're the best. It's unconditional love. They never complain. Okay. <laughs> they never complain. Okay, we're on the hey, same on, page, me and you, Larry. Hey, they never complain. Yes. So you know, the a couple of weeks ago, I, I looked outside my in, in by my used cars, and I saw I, I have trees and stuff, and there was a um, a family of feral cats, and you know. We're going to be knocking down some of these bushes, and I knew that the cats would would either get destroyed or would move on. So I called the Humane Society because we're going to be doing some events for the Humane Society. Because I did it at my old store where I did a, the dog adoptions every two weeks inside my store. Oh my! Andrew's going to love him. It was great. My sister does dog rescue. I, I did. Well, I was okay. doing it through a, an organization out there. Um, the bottom line was I, I had the Humane Society come in. They caught the cats. They spayed them for me. They chipped them. And they're actually going to, the, the, the mom and dad are probably going to be p released. I want them released again out by us because they can't breed. But the kittens, we're going to take and they're going to domesticate them and put them up for adoption. Wow. Oh, how nice. You know, you, you got to do the right thing because you know what? He's really a nice guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. You have to be. You know, they look at, I mean, we're here. Hopefully, you know, we've been given certain things in our life that we can think about. We've been given a lot of, a lot of good sense of common sense, I hope. You know, animals are there for our enjoyment, not to sit there and abuse. So that's just, I'm, I'm a softy about that. So. You know what the neat thing is? Larry's going to be with us every month. And I, there's so many things I want to get into. I want to get into about financing. I want to see if we can educate people about financing and leasing. leasing. Yes. There's so many things that just the common person doesn't know about. And we're going to have the lowdown about it because yeah. that's what the show's about. It's about educational information, having the best dealership. Um, Listen, I could, you know, we could say that about any dealership, but when we found out we got this dealership, it was like we were so we were I mean, high, high five. fiving. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. we were high fiving. And you have a great marketing company. Omni is just wonderful. They have been on the ball. It just so it just it all coincides with the dealership and the people that you have around you and I bet your salesmen are or saleswomen too are unbelievable also. They're great and hopefully you know like I said I'm, I'm going to invite you up to, to oh, we're we can do a broadcast up We'd there. We'd love to do that yes. And uh, you know you're, anybody that comes up there if they've heard us and like I said on, on this show you know listen come on up you can't buy a car we'll, we'll fill your car for gas we'll, we'll do whatever it's going to be make sure to make sure you're happy and you know what? It's it's well worth it. It's, it's a it's a nice drive. It's not a far drive, and it, you know what? It's it's kind of one of those things where you just get out the field a little bit. And it's a whole different feel. General Manager Larry Tabloff, thank you so much for coming on, for spending coming on extra today, time yes. with us today, and I can't wait till next month. We're going to do this again. One more time, the dealership is at. Well, let's do it real fast. Land Rover, uh, sorry, Jaguar, Jaguar, Land Rover Treasure Coast. We're sitting at 4771 South U.S. Highway, Fort Pierce, Florida, www.tcjaguar.com, www.tclandrover.com, or call me at 772-293-0400. Reach me at extension 1505. We'll Go see you next week. Them. Peace and love, everybody. We're out. Thanks for tuning in today to the Ask the Experts show with Steve-O and Renee. Tune in every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. while some of the top local experts in their field from Broward and Palm Beach counties educate you in the areas of law, health, financial, and home improvement. You can also call our offices at 888-574-6999 to become an expert on our show. 
The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station.